Hey ho, my name is Joe. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 12 of my reading reset. Hello there. If you are new here, I am Joanna. I refer to myself here as Joe, and I am fighting me like a girl where I do things bookish and polycystic ovarian syndrome related. And you have clicked on this video where I am on the final day of my reading reset. I can't believe it's been 12 days already, but here we are. So today we are actually going over my January and March TBR, or January through March TBR. Uh, I want to do things a little bit differently this year when it comes to my TBRs uh, because I found myself yes uh, last year just not reading as much as I want to in a month. So we're going to do a three month TBRs this year. But before we go ahead and get started, if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe and that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post. I was posting for the, la for the last 12 days every single day as I went through all my books that I read for the previous year. And I'm hoping to post a video at least once a week, so you want to be notified when I do that. Uh, I'm hoping uh, maybe twice a week sometimes if I do a reading vlog, but we will see how things go and what happens. I'm not sure how I'm going to balance this, but I'm going to give it a try. I do work two jobs, so balancing is hard. So I'm hoping that I can find my balance. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in to my TBR that I want, books that I want to read until March. Uh, not really even sure what I'm in the mood to read. Uh, I feel like this is mainly going to be going through my books and figure it out. Uh, I do have some books on that shelf that you guys see behind me that I haven't read. Uh, I've read 90% of the books that are on that shelf though. Uh, I have a shelf here and a shelf here that I need to read. You guys don't see if they're off camera. Uh, but I do know at some point we're going to have to get another shelf in here because I am running out of room for books. And uh, I feel like one video that might be coming at some point is a reorganization of my office because... I need to find room for more shelves. I've got a shelf sitting out in the hallway I still need to put together. I've got a little tiny bookshelf that's overflowing. I've got my tall bookshelf here that's just about overflowing. I've got books on the floor. I've got books on my desk. You are sitting on top of books. I even have more books coming in the mail. We have a problem. <laughs> uh, so I'm just trying to figure out how I can put another shelf in here because everything that's in this room needs to stay in this room. So, so far I've got three shelves in here and I need a fourth. So I'm hoping maybe I can find a shelf that I can fit under the desk that way so I can move this little shelf and, you know, we're figuring it out as we go. But anyway, let's get back to the TBR. I'm rambling on right now. Let's get back to a TBR. So the first book that I have is Daisy Jones of the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I have actually already finished this book. Uh, I listened to it on the audio. I listened to it on Audible, on audiobook, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really, really good, but I will talk more about that in a reading wrap-up. The next book I have is A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. I'm currently listening to the audiobook on this and oh my god that narrator is great. I listen to my books on two times speed and just like the way that he makes the dog just sound so excited about everything. It, it, it's wonderful. I would highly recommend the audio 
the Audible audiobook for this because he does such a good job. It, it It's wonderful. It's great. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Oh! What else do I want to read? I've been much, very, very, very much so a mood reader. And I just don't know. I do know that I want to pick up this. A Man Called Ove by Frederick Bachman. Uh, there is a movie to this, and I definitely want to read the book and watch the movie. It's with Tom Hanks. I'm so excited. Uh, I... I don't really know how much to say about this. I want to go into it blind, so I've barely read it. I barely read the synopsis. And... I barely read the synopsis on this, so... Oh, why am I so itchy today? It wants to be a sweater. Damn, yeah, my tummy's growling. I really don't know how to say this. I have not read the synopsis on this because I kind of definitely really want to just go into it blind. And... I feel like... I'm at a point in my life where I'm ready to read Frederick Bachman and I just I'm really here for it I think I might even pick finish picking up Bear Town by Frederick Bachman um oh I should I could be right back I get something. I'm also currently reading this uh Anxious People by Frederick Bachman so I got some Frederick Bachman to read uh, I did start Bear Town last year. Thoroughly, I was enjoying it. Um, but I put it down to read other things. So, I think I might remove all these tabs and just go back in and start over. But, uh, will I pick up this one again? I don't know. But I do know I want to finish it. And really enjoying Anxious People so far, and I'm really excited to dive into a man called Ove. So we will see how these go. I might burn myself out in front of Bachman, but we'll see. You see, I've been so much a mood reader lately that I don't even know what I'm in the mood to read. Uh, I do know... I need to reread this at some point. Uh, so Girl of Hearts by J. Gabriel Gates. I have talked about a lot, this a lot, and I mean a lot on my channel. Uh, as in the last 12 days, I feel like every other video mentioned this book. And with a good reason. This book is really, really good. I This will be a reread for me um, because I really want to reread Girl of Hearts. You're going to shift here. <laughs> Oh, you shifted quite a bit. Damn it. I really want to reread this because I've got Mother of Spades as well that I haven't read yet. So, I want to... So, I definitely want to read Girl of Hearts and then read Mother of Spades. So, that's on the TBR as well. Um, okay, sorry. Sister-in-law distracted me. Uh, so I really, the reason I want to read these two is because he is working on the third book currently right now. Not sure what the publication date is, but I need to get caught up. So, I haven't read Mother of Spades yet, and I need to get on it. But, I want to consume Girl of Hearts again. Because it was so good. Alright, moving on. Um... Oh, there's so many books I need to read. Oh my goodness. I, I feel like I'm definitely a little overwhelmed by the books that I need to read. But also at the same time, I'm glad. I'm very, very glad that I have all these books to read because I'd be bored. Um, 
but I definitely know I want to read this one next, or this one as well. We have Under the Whispering Door by T.G. Klune. I definitely know I'll have to be, uh, I definitely know that this will be a, definitely a mood that I would want to get into to read this, and we'll see how it goes. Let's look at my journal, shall we? See what else I can probably do. Because I've got my whole entire TBR list written down in here. Uh, let's see. We have... I don't have it in here. Yes, I do. This is definitely one of those that's going to take me a while to get through. I might even roll it over into after March. But we have the Lord of the Rings. Uh, this one is uh, all three books, I believe. I want to read this one. That way... Where is it? Did I put it away? Oh, right there. Uh, I want to read this so I can read this. Uh, this is a retelling of this but in a girl format. So I'm here for it. We've got a lot of books we want to read. I'm back full force reading and I'm so excited. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I'll do two more because I'm feeling ambitious. We're going to do two more. Um... Let's see, we're going to do two more. Oh, I'm also currently reading, so this will be one of mine. Uh, I'm currently reading The Secret Journal by Otto Schaefer. Uh, he's an author that I found on Book Talk, or on TikTok, and I'm really loving that book so far. So that would be what I'm a book I'm adding. Uh, to my list. The cover will be right here because I'm reading that on my Kindle. I think it's... I'm borrowing it through Prime Reading, I think. Or it's Kindle Unlimited. I can't remember. I don't pay for Kindle Unlimited, but uh, I am a Amazon member. So, a Prime member. So I think it's free on Prime Reading right now. So you should go check it out because it's really, really good. So far, whatever. I run like 150 pages into it or so. But it's really good. Uh, so we're going to talk about one more. Um, I think I'm not even really sure what I'm in the mood for at all. Like, that's my problem that I've been running into. I don't even know what I'm in the mood to read. So I think the variety of books that I'm choosing for my TBR is... have. Alright, that's good. Uh, so let's do a middle grade, actually. Uh, the middle grade I'm thinking is Anyone But Ho uh, Ivy Pocket by Caleb Crisp. Cute little middle grade. Uh, if I'm in the mood for a cute little middle grade, I'll pick up this one. Um... I've been reading a lot of middle grade lately, and I am not hating it. I love middle grade. So, we're here. Alrighty. So, if you made it this far in this video, thank you. I appreciate you. If you watched my whole entire reading reset, thank you. I appreciate you. Um, it's been sad. This is the end of my reading reset. That went by really quick cats are fighting again. Uh, so, yeah. Um, oh my gosh, I don't want this to be over. I'm sad. Uh, so, I hope you guys will continue watching my videos and watch me along this journey and 
I do have some videos coming that will talk about my polycystic ovarian syndrome. I just, a lot of that stuff has been put on the back burner right now because with the two jobs and everything, I haven't really had much time to fully do anything and whatnot. So, I will guess I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.